Jackfruit has been used in the Mediterranean diet for centuries. The fruit is native to India and Southeast Asia, but it can be found in countries all around the world. It is a popular ingredient in cooking, but it is also known for its health benefits. Jackfruit contains high levels of dietary fiber, vitamin A, B6, potassium, and magnesium. If eaten in moderation, jackfruit can be an excellent food choice for diabetics because it helps regulate blood sugar levels while keeping you feeling full for longer periods of time. Though jackfruit can be healthy, it may also affect your blood sugar levels, and people with diabetes should consider this when deciding whether to add it to their diet. In this video, we'll discuss about jackfruit and diabetes, whether jackfruit is good or bad for type 2 diabetes, and how it affects blood sugar levels. Jackfruit is usually eaten as a fruit when it is ripe, but it also can be consumed in its unripe, raw state, which can be eaten as a vegetable. Jackfruit is often called vegan meat, and it's fleshy and full of nutrients. When unripe, jackfruit is white, and when ripe, it turns to a bright yellow color. Raw jackfruit is unpopular around the world, even among natives. Not only are they full of essential nutrients for your health, but they also have some important properties that are often overlooked. Raw jackfruit has less sugar content and is healthier to eat than the ripe one. It's also better for your body, making it more beneficial. Jackfruit Nutrition Facts The following is nutrition information of one cup of sliced, raw jackfruit, 165 grams, as provided by the USDA. Jackfruit is a popular vegan substitute for meat, but it's not high in protein. It does contain many vital nutrients like potassium, vitamin C, vitamin A, and magnesium. It is low in fat and sodium, an important consideration for those with health conditions or restrictions that require them to pay more attention to these particular nutrients, especially diabetics. Glycemic Index and Glycemic Load of Jackfruit Glycemic index, GI, provides an estimate of how food might affect blood sugar levels. Below 55 is a low GI. Between 55 to 69 is a moderate GI. Above 70 is a high GI. The GI of ripe jackfruit is 7 to 5, which is a very high glycemic range and needs to be taken care of. On the other hand, the GI of raw jackfruit is 52. This is a low level and helps keep blood sugar levels normal. Glycemic load, GL, takes portion size into account when providing an estimate of how food might affect blood sugar. As such, it's a more accurate way of assessing a food's effect on blood sugar. Low GL foods are below 10, moderate GL foods are between 10 to 20, and high GL foods are over 20. Raw jackfruit has a GL of 2.5 to 3, while ripe jackfruit has a moderate GL of 13 to 18. This is a summary of the GI and GL of jackfruit. Does jackfruit raise blood sugar? Even though ripe jackfruit has a high GI, it has a moderate GL score, meaning it will not rapidly raise your blood sugar. However, it can still raise blood sugar levels substantially if consumed in large quantities. So it is advisable to consume ripe jackfruit in moderation. Unlike ripe jackfruit, Raw jackfruit with a lower GI and GL can help you balance your blood sugar levels. Other nutrients and compounds in jackfruit may also provide positive effects on your blood sugar levels. Is jackfruit good for type 2 diabetics? Can type 2 diabetics eat jackfruit? If you have type 2 diabetes, eating jackfruit in moderation is a very healthy option. Still, because it's high in carbs, it's important to pay attention to choosing an appropriate portion size, such as a half cup, 7 to 5 grams, which would provide 18 grams of carbs. Jackfruit contains antioxidants that help prevent diseases like cancer and heart disease. It also has natural sugars and fiber that may actually help control the blood sugar levels of diabetics and reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. It can also prevent or manage symptoms by regulating how much glucose and insulin is released throughout the day. Overall, diabetics or anyone needing to monitor their blood sugar would benefit most from eating foods with as low a GI and GL as possible. 
Of course, modest amounts of high GI foods, such as ripe jackfruit, can be enjoyed occasionally without side effects, especially considering it has a moderate GL score.